Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. It is December 23rd, so tomorrow is Christmas Eve. And as you know, we are a blended family, so we're equal opportunity celebrators around here. In fact, December is the month that all three of us have our birthdays in as well, so it's a big deal this month. Anyway, Christmas is just a couple of days away and I wanted to make some cookies for the neighbors. I'm not a baker, y'all. I don't do a lot of baking with the exception of, you know, a weekly loaf of bread. I really just don't bake because I just don't really like baking. But not only is this cookie recipe fantastic, it produces this crisp, delicious, perfectly accompanying for a cup of coffee kind of cookie. Um, but it's also super duper easy. So come on along, let's make up some cookies. So I have three cups of Quaker Quick Oats here and two sticks of butter that I have melted. We're gonna mix those together to start. So now we're going to set up our dry ingredients with a cup and a half of sugar, two tablespoons of baking powder, and two teaspoons of flour. And we'll just mix that up. And I just realized I forgot to add two teaspoons of salt to our dry ingredients. One. And two. Okay, and now we're gonna whisk up our egg with a couple of extracts. I like to do one teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of almond. Now we just mix everything together. We're gonna to add our dry ingredients to our oats first, and then the egg mixture to it. So here is our cookie dough, all mixed up. It's nice and gooey. And I have the oven preheated to 350. So let's get our cookie pan set up. And I'm going to dress these pans with just some parchment paper. So these cookies spread out a lot. I am putting in a very little bit 
about a teaspoon's worth. And I'm giving them lots and lots of room. The oven is heated to 350 and our cookies are set on our sheet. Uh, so we're gonna pop these in for eight minutes and then I'm just gonna switch them. Our first batch of cookies is out of the oven. I'm gonna move them to the cooling rack, but they need just a moment to cool down on the parchment themselves. Let me show you what's going on. These cookies are beautiful, but they are not crispy yet. They're gonna crisp up on the cooling rack. So I've given them just a, about a minute and we'll pop them over here. I don't know if you're a warm cookie person. Some of us like our cookies warm. These are not good for warm eating. They will scald your mouth. So wait until they've cooled down a little bit. You can see they're, they're already starting to get some integrity. And then I'm gonna take the cookie sheet that we just used, reuse the parchment paper, load it full of cookie dough, and just rinse and repeat. Here we go. And you can see now that these have sat for even just a minute, they're already nice and firm and crisp. We're just gonna keep doing this until we run out of cookie dough. It should take me about 45 minutes to an hour. Look at these pretty cookies. We got about, we got one shy of nine dozen cookies. These are the best oatmeal cookies ever. I don't eat oats and I like these. Mm. See, they're, light, caramelly, crispy without being crunchy. Mm. Mm, they're so nice. I'll put the recipe down in the description for you below. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Have a lovely holiday season. Take care.